name is Jason Lopes. I'm the lead systems engineer for Legacy FX. Uh, what Legacy does is character design, creature design, suits, props, animatronics, and collectibles. Five years ago, uh, we realized that uh, we really needed to change the way that we do things, so we decided to see what was out there for us to enhance what we do traditionally. And uh, we had known about 3D printing from the early days. We have even used it in the early days but not to the capacity that would change our business or how we would do things. So uh, when a special project came in, we did a Halo commercial. We figured it was the perfect opportunity to see what was out there and how it could complement us. So we started learning about object technology through a really high volume project working with a service bureau. And that was our stepping stone. Once we got through that project, we knew the technology was for us. One of the main reasons why we chose object technology was because we didn't want it to just do one specific thing. We wanted something that would be versatile, something that we could use for really high-end collectible maquettes, and then something that we could also use for specialized builds to actually put right onto people, and something that would also give us a choice of, could we do things in clear, could we do things in a rubberized material? And as far as what was out on the market, Objects the only company that had versatility for us. What we're seeing more and more now is that just besides building suits and doing hard surface things and collectibles, we're actually getting people coming in that are costume designers or makeup, makeup artists and saying, it would be great if we can incorporate this digital design into our costume design. Are you guys able to do that? And with the wide range of materials that Object offers, there hasn't been a job that we've turned away and said isn't possible. All that detail that people are seeing on a monitor needs to come through on the print. So our main thing is detail. What you see is what you get. What someone signed off on has to be represented. Our second thing is we're very versatile with this technology. We don't just use it for maquettes or just little characters. We actually use it on people, full one-to-one -one scale parts of body armor, things like that. So being able to have a strong part that will be able to take some heat and take up to the process of molding and being able to really come through to create a volume amount of parts is essential. You know, a great example is, you know, there's many times where we think we have a locked design and we're ready to go, and at four o'clock on a Thursday evening, we'll have a revision to do for a client that they want to see immediately so their client can sign off on it. And I don't think there's any other way besides using technology like this that you'd be able to meet those demands of today's customers. <laughs>